<laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to the VSO Gun Channel. Today we are taking a look at our first ever loud insert, and that is not the technical product designation, but I can't think of any more concise way to describe what this thing is. This is the Dead Air Pyro, and it is what I would consider a boomstick or a flash enhancer. And the way it works is it just goes right on, treat all guns as though they're loaded, right on over top of your dead air mounts. And <clears throat> dead air is known for their cans, but uh, among all my circles, they are known for producing the best can mount on the market. And all you need to do is take a look at the geometry of the mount and you can see that there was a lot of time spent on this thing, lots and lots of prototypes to make it work as well as it does. And what's really neat about it is you don't have to touch the mount itself. So you can take your can on and off or your muzzle equipment on and off by working at the front of the can. It only goes on one way, it only indexes one way and you never have to touch the mount. This is really important if you're wanting to do one of those things where you run a can underneath of your handguard and uh, that's not an option on this Ballistic Advantage machine gun here. Uh, full video out on that, but it's not a, an option because the rail is so tight, but if you had a bigger rail and you wanted to run your can underneath of it, sometimes those QD mounts can get caught on the inside of the uh, rail. And so this makes it so you never have to even touch that. Lots of other companies have started to adopt the dead air system. Again, treat all guns as though they're loaded all the time. Like for instance, this is the Energetic Arms Vox. If you guys didn't see our full video on that, uh, link in the description box down below. But for instance, they have set their can up to be able to use dead air mounts because they've recognized that it's the, the greatest mount on the market. So if you wanted to shoot it suppressed, you totally could. A little bit gassy. Uh, of course, now that sucker's nice and hot. So we'll just go ahead Take it off. Again, treat all guns as though they're loaded that fast, right back to loud insert <laughs> or blast can. I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys a few tests on the pyro here in a minute and a couple different configurations that you can set it up in to best fit your needs. Well, to give you guys the lay of the land, that is the body of the pyro. And you can see it's got a dead air chemo mount there on the back of it that is designed to work with your muzzle device, right like that. And it's basically a ventilated body that's designed to violently redirect the gas. And the other thing about those vents that is nice is you can see that there's some mechanical advantage built in there. So if you needed to get a little bit to take it apart, you absolutely could. Uh, it is welded together. I can see a weld line there and a weld line there, so uh, it looks to be fairly stout. It is threaded on the end, and that allows us to configure it in the two uh, configurations. And we have basically the blast uh, chamber, if you will. And what we do is we take this little tool here, and this basically makes it a hollow chamber. And that basically seals it up, as you can see, all the way around and basically makes it so the projectile can leave, maybe a little bit of gas out the front, but the majority of it is going to be contained inside the body and vented out the side ports there. Now, if we want to do something that's more of like a linear comp, we just take this off the end here, and we have this blast shield. And all this does is just like the other one, is it just drops right down inside there and it basically plugs all those holes and causes this to be pretty much the stoutest built linear compensator that I have ever seen. It's been a while since I've broken this one out, but basically it's a hanger that I engineered to suspend guns unsupported so that we can see what the muzzle flip looks like on various pieces of muzzle equipment. I 
I took the liberty of taking some screenshots at peak flip so that we could do a side-by-side -side comparison. There's really nothing super groundbreaking here, but generally speaking, it appears that the pyro increases the back pressure relative to the comp and dissipates energy relative to the flash hider. And of course, I also wanted to include this screenshot because it didn't show up very well in the side-by-side. Alrighty, we're gearing up to do the pyro night test. This should be pretty cool. We're gonna do both the flash suppressor and the comp underneath of both the linear comp configuration and the um, full pyro configuration, if you will. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. It, it'll be dark enough here in just a few moments to begin. I think we're about to find out why they called it the pyro. I even brought my tinted eyeglasses so that uh, I won't Lose my night vision. Sure, you believe that, right? Here we go. That did not sound good. You're gonna be just some hunting for parts. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> that thing is so loud. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna blow out my, my uh, mic. And what kind of channel would this be? If we had a machine gun and we didn't use it. The linear comp. Boys and girls, I'm gonna have to wait a minute because I can't see anything. All night vision is gone. <laughs> Last one and then we're gonna pack it in. I'm gonna walk over there because it was just absolutely saturating the photo sensor in IR mode. So let's see. Holy crap. Holy crap. And I don't feel bad about that at all because uh, even though it is fairly late at night, they are setting fireworks off uh, right over there. It is uh, the night that the town next to me is setting off fireworks. So uh, <laughs> if you're somebody's going to complain about that, then, <laughs> then they're not American. Alrighty guys and gals, that's all I got on the Dead Air Pyro. I hope that you guys had as good a time watching this video as I had making it. And I understand that it's summertime and not a lot of time is laying around for us to spend watching videos, so I tried to make this one short and sweet. If you guys would like to see more on the Dead Air Pyro, then make this video popular and uh, perhaps we'll revisit it and do a full auto run and gun or something like that. If there's something you'd like to see, then absolutely like, share, subscribe, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to come back to it. Thank you guys again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video here on the VSO Gun Channel. And as you guys can see, I'm about to get rained on, so it's out of the box. We gotta make this thing happen fast. Got them all on the plate.